Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here and we are coming back to you again from our Dino A Day review series and we are on to, well, one of the most unusual tames in ARC and that is the Onik. A lot of people even forget that these things are tameable. Yes, they are. You have it's, it's a pain in the butt, mind you. You have to have a bunch of stuff, gilly, bug repellent, and then you have to sneak around behind them feeding them spoiled meat. But it's doable and... Their high level stats are not that great. I mean, you can't ride them. They won't ever land. They always hover in the sky. Uh, that's pretty much everything you need to know about these guys. They're not the greatest tanks in the world. However, I have once been attacked, and I will never forget this because I was very confused on what was going on. And this was a while ago. This was years ago when Ark first came out when these things were first tamed. I don't remember. It was like a year after Island actually released or something like that. These things were tameable. Um. But basically, what you can do with these things is you can level them up pretty well and get some decent stats on them. Uh, this is like obviously a little bit boosted, so it's not like super accurate. But you could easily get them into five, six, seven thousand health range, and then like six, seven hundred melee range. And what I would like to mention as well: if you tame a max level one of these things, they are not breedable. They can't be cloned. The only value of them is to exist on your base. Now, the one thing that is useful for these things, and a lot of people forget about it, is they can be used as a chemical warfare. Because there is about a 10% chance that these onyx actually give you mega rabies when they bite you. So if you have 10 and they're biting somebody, there's a guarantee that they're going to get mega rabies. Not only that, but they do increase damage to armor. So if you are fighting somebody, and they move really quickly, um, so if you're fighting somebody and you release a swarm of bats on them, they will do heavy, heavy, heavy amounts of damage to their armor. Just to show you, there's a Triceratops. And if you've got a bunch of these things in a swarm style, let's go ahead and go. I'm just going to drag them over here, and we're going to whistle aggressive. Actually, no, I'm just going to keep commanding them to attack things. Um, they work really well as a team, so if you can get a bunch of them and surprise somebody, there's not really many tames that can do outdo these things and the reason why is because onyx like the other teams that can do this uh, which would include the micro raptor as well as the dimorphodon they have the ability to target only the rider of something so they can hit people off of their teams and then continue to shred it and because they do that increased armor damage um these onyx can absolutely just thwack things um but you can see it right now is in the negative side, they don't have any armor. But in a swarm like this, they are very, very dangerous. They are not something to be trifled with. Um, and, and I guess I'll tell you, when I first started ARC, I was playing, and people, this is back when people like didn't have any super metas and people like you know tame things for fun, and it was the game that you just you know were curious about everything. And somebody came after me with an onyx swarm. I almost crapped myself because I'd never seen it before. And I didn't know how to fight it because I tried to take out one Onik, but there was like another six or seven. And they just encircled me because they have a very fast turn radius. Did so much damage and just shredded me. And now, because of the Mega Rabies and stuff like that, if you have ten, you're guaranteed to kill somebody because nobody carries lesser antidotes on them. And that's just how it works. Um, they're pretty quick. You could probably increase their... I didn't see if there was a movement speed option on them, so that's not a bad idea to check. Because if you could increase movement speed on these things, that would be a nightmare to try and take them out of the sky. Because when they're normal speed, they're a little slow. Um, <clears throat> so that can be a problem. But they do a ton of damage. Um, let's go ahead and gather the Bronto again, just to show you. So this is, I mean, these are high level ones. Um, but they're unleveled for the most part, except for two of them. And they're still doing like 130, 140 damage a bite. So, not too shabby. And goodbye, Mr. Bronto. But there they go. And they damaged the Bronto enough because they're in the air. They're not going to take the damage from him stepping. Looks like they can't quite catch him, though, so that's unfortunate. Unless he stops. So this is an interesting battle. But you can see the point. These things are quite effective. So anyways, if you want to try them out on official, I'm sure that, I mean, you could leave them at a base and in in, inside of close quarters they'd be dangerous because it'd be hard to take them out, but at a distance they'd be not too terrifying at all. So anyways, hopefully the bass swarm can help you out. And other than that, teach out.